Hello and welcome to another Raggy's uh, Beer Reviews. So, um, today I'm going back over to Derbyshire. I think it's to Normanton in Derbyshire. Um, but in any case, I first met Dungeon Brewing over at a Fire Rock Brewing Company. And this is when it was the, uh, both Mark and Craig doing uh, Dungeon Brewing. It's now just Mark. Although his good lady, his girlfriend Natalie, does uh, tend to do quite a bit. She's a lovely lady as well. They're both genuinely lovely people. And, uh, you know, I'm proud to know the both of them. And, uh, you know, from Raggy's Bear Reviews uh, to Mark and Natalie and all the family, you know. Uh, Mark has had some um, um, bad times recently without going any further than I need to go. And, you know, mate, uh, we're all there for you. We're all thinking of you. But anyway, on with the beer. Um, this is El Dorado Dream. So El Dorado is a hop, a good hop. Um, an India Pale Ale. I picked this up from Talbot Tap House over in Ripley in Derbyshire, who really are supportive of both Dungeon Brewing and also Crouch and Pentridge. So, you know, thank you to Talbot Tap House. Um, for, for doing that you know um it's people supporting people that start the ball rolling and without the initial support it's very difficult to get a place in this world um in in all aspects of social media uh, being a brewery being a pub being a beer reviewer that support down the line from everybody is is critical you know supporting each other is, is absolutely immense <laughs> so anyway this is described as an india pale ale it's five percent uh, there is writing on the back so i will read the writing um el dorado dreams brewed with best pale and crystal molds balanced with a trio of hops and fermented um warm with kavik yeast which combined with the big dry hop addition of El Dorado gives dreamy citrus and tropical stone fruit flavours and aromas. The funny thing is, I myself have picked up some El um, Kavik yeast, Artus or some Argus, I don't know, not Argos, Argus, or Artus. Oh, a little bit lively. So, um, So, yeah, lip. a little bit lively on the pool. Let me just double check to see who sent me a message. Um, and it's really funny because all of a sudden the phone's having a funky. And while I wait for that to sort itself out, so, as you can see, it's a hazy, orangey pour. Here we go, we're playing there. And, uh... And there we go, yeah. A hazy, orangey pour. Of a white head. And, uh... Like I've also said, you know, I really do think that um, I met for the first time uh, Dungeon Brewing over in uh, Five Rock Brewing Company. And even though Raggy's Beer Reviews has kind of, um, is the word stagnated a thing? Maybe, maybe, maybe I've just not gone to put myself out there or maybe I'm just too busy in real world to, to, to do that and uh, uh, although maybe, maybe people think I still am but uh, I've certainly since Covid times and that was three years ago um, I've certainly backtracked uh, from what I was in Covid times 
I was the um, pioneer of beer reviews, uh, live beer reviews. I was the king, you know. There was nothing and no one like me out there. Um, obviously, times change and, um, you know, I'm as busy as they come now, earning money and, you know, trying to keep everything ship shape in the, in the, world, the real world. Um, it is what it is on that. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, maybe I'm not at the forefront where I was. And, uh, but also, I mean, I'm too busy. Simple as that, you know. But anyway, so, here you can see, El Dorado Dreams, um, quite a, a dark, hazy orange pour. A white head on there, as you can see. In, in the uh, a third... Um, Fire Rock Brewing Glass. We'll see Fire Rock Brewing soon over at Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. Like I say, I would like to see Fire Rock do the similar sort of thing to what Bang the Elephant are doing. And that is, use your power to, to give a nudge to a local brewery. As in, Dungeon Brewing, who have... have you know, gone to Fire Rock many times over the years, buying their beers, drinking there, supporting them, and um, oh, quite the twangy, fruity, tropical fruity beer, stone fruits, and oh. And again, there we are. I myself, over the next week, uh, not today, because I'm, I'm both tired and I've got the worst neck ache ever. Um, we'll get back into brewing. Um, An imperial stout to brew, uh, maybe a double um, to brew, and uh, yeah, look, I'm looking forward to it. To be honest, I'm looking forward to doing some quality brewing. Uh, I've got six beer kits. Uh, I'm thinking of doing two four percents. Um, what would be a 7 or 8 percent and maybe an 11 or 12 percent depending on how far the ABV uh, um, takes me we'll see how that goes um, yeah and I've, I've got the yeast to support it I bought beer kit and ounce uh, spray malt dark spray malt so so I've actually paid out more than I would normally pay out so yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Something different for the Raggy's like Beer Reviews. Um, I'm actually paying out to, for these beers. Um, rather than just going purely down the sugar route, I'm actually paying for a, a, a much more stronger yeast um, that can support a 16% beer. But also, you know, not just sugar, but that dark malt, uh, and beer, beer sugar, beer enhancer, or whatever you call the bloody stuff. So, like most 
you know, I am somebody who reviews beers, but I'm a I'm a fan of the beer world, and I'm I'm mega supportive of those breweries around me that you know I know a good breweries and and good people, and. Uh, Dungeon Brewing, you know, they've been doing their thing for many years, doing the, you know, from a homebrew side of things, but doing uh, homebrew grain brewing, then going into um, commercial all grain. And, uh, and the, the, the list of pubs around Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire that have supported them is amazing. Um, you know, I absolutely salute all the pubs that, you know, have, have had uh, Dungeon Brewing on the bar. And there's not just Dungeon Brewing. We talk, there's, there's a load of new local breweries that are really doing their thing. And the, and the thing is with, with the likes of Dungeon Brewing and well, I'll bring into that equation Crunch. Grumpy Fish Brew Co and others is that these are breweries where they are super excited about what they do they care about bringing a good product um, they're in the game because they love the game they're not in the game because it's all about the money and uh, whenever anything is about the money that's where the game falls down. I'm a gardener. And, uh, you know, yes, I like to be paid the proper rate of pay that I deserve, you know, the grand, in the, in the grand scheme of things. But, you know, it's, it's all about doing a proper job and doing a job where I can walk away and think I'm super proud of what I do and these guys I see what they do and they have, they have the ambition they they put out a product that they're, they're super happy with and, and I see this with the likes also of Urban Chicken Ale and that their, their, their beers are good beers you know um, and if they're not happy, they'll ditch the beers uh, at their own cost. There we go. So, last bit of this beer. Ooh, looks a banger, doesn't it? If this was outside, in the light it would look vibrantly orange um with a white head oh. like i say fantastic brewery um i do hope that the likes of um fire rock who got their bump up from um, bang the elephant and, and you know certainly took it to another level um, at Nottingham Craft Beer Festival I do hope that they do the same with you know the likes of Dungeon or Crouch certainly Dungeon for, for me uh, and you know um, it's all about using power power is a thing um, it's not what you know it's who you know and it, it is a thing in, in, in the world we live in um, and using one's power whatever that power is to, to, to do good and to progress people that deserve progression uh, is a fantastic thing. Um, you 
it says. Hmm. But anyway, El Dorado Dreams, uh, IPA 5%. Look at the colour on that beer. Looks lovely. And that's in the, you know, the darkness of the beer room. Uh, outside, this will be more vibrant, more orangey. So, something to note. Um, tropical stone fruit flavours and aroma on this. Um, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And then the fire rock glass, funnily enough. Tasting lovely. Um, would I drink this again? Yeah, without any shadow of a doubt. Uh, a cracking beer. Love Dungeon Brewing, you know. Um, I obviously know them, so I'm going to be nice about them because I know them. But they are genuinely beautiful people. Beautiful. And uh, that's not just, you know, from the outwards, it's the inwards. That's what matters to me. That's what matters to Raggy's Bear Reviews. It's what you are inwards, you know. I've chatted to many, many breweries across the country. And uh, you listen to what they say. And it's always the people that are truly inwards that are the ones that you know mean more to me um but anyway yeah cracking beer um would i drink it again oh yes out of five if i was going to give a score not that i'm doing scores these days but i'm only doing it because people ask uh again a good 4.4 4 out of five for me yeah and uh yeah cracking beer Right, see you soon. And uh, now I'm going to lie down on the settee and chill and rest this bloody shoulder. Cheers all.